Hello, good morning everybody. Mm, sorry for my English, but I will try to do my best. This is a test, a partial test that I am doing with a big refrigerator, a big bridge, fridge, excuse me. I am, ha I am putting this bridge, this fridge for about five hours connected to a Bluetti EV, EV uh, 70. Okay? And now I am going to test the simultaneous charge and the charge of the Bluetti. If this is working or not. I am, I run, I have a low battery, 40%. I have about 56 watts from the fridge and I am connecting now the charger and put the charger on the Bluetti. Okay. You can see she's charging now, and I'm, we are charging at 190 watts. And at the same time, I am discharging the the portable station, energy station, with a, with the fridge. I think that if you don't discharge with a with a high rate at the same time as you are charging you probably you will you will you will not have uh, you will have no problems i think the bluetooth is limiting itself because of temperature of temperature and um, probably you will have no problem with low discharge rate, rates as this example this test has been running for about five hours and now I'm going to leave it with charge and discharge uh, at the same time for one hour and I will connect it again the, the video. Okay? We will see how the battery has uh, get charged. Well, this is one hour later. I am going to to see the graphs and disconnect the charger, I am connecting the laptop and you can see here that we have charged, charged until 80% of the battery ok? so we, we are going, we have done a charge and the charge at the same time the fridge, the bridge has been working perfectly no problem so the test was, has been Perfect. Now this is the another part of the test. You have uh, the video, the complete video in Spanish, because we are we have been running a test with a fridge and testing if the uh, Bluetti EV70, excuse me, Bluetti EV70 uh, or 70, uh, manage this kind of of loads. Uh, no problem. In my channel, you can find lots of tests with this equipment and other equipments. Uh, for example, DC discharge test to test capacity, AC discharge test to test capacity again, test uh, discharging, excuse me, tests, test with high loads, like a high dryer, uh, about one hour or something like that and testing temperatures with a thermometer and a lot of tests with solar panels also and please uh, leave your comments your comments here in the down part subscribe to my channel you, my English is not very good but you can always uh, put the automatic subtitles in YouTube and if you ask me more video in English, I will try to do my best. I can uh, ask where and write perfectly in English your questions, or if you ask uh, some tests, I, can, I will understand you in English and do the test. But sorry for my speaking English, it's not uh, very good. So, for my, for my point of view, you can charge and discharge the Blue ET EV70 
because he has flow blowers or ventilators inside and uh, it is uh, running these flow blowers and it will not get so much temp temperature if you don't decharge at high rates at the same time you are charging it okay there is no problem to do a simultaneous charge and discharge but be careful with the temperature for this in this example for example for example if you have a blackout you can connect the blue tip permanently or so always connected to the charger to maintain the battery and hundred percent so and in a blackout you will have a, a very good system to maintain your foods uh, cold inside of freeze in, inside inside your fridge or your refrigerator. So please subscribe to my channel and see the other tests that probably you will like them. Thank you. Bye.